Hello there, this is Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine in the WHS 11 News First Alert Storm Team Weather Center on this uh, July the 27th, 2022. It's been a lot, a little while since we've uh, done a live stream here on the internets. It is uh, 10.05 p.m. on the, this Wednesday evening. We had some thunderstorms over southern Kentucky areas uh, this evening and a lot of that's beginning to move out. I can uh, go ahead and put the double box on there so you can see some of those storms off to the south. Let me check our stream since it's been a minute since we've uh, done a live stream and make sure things are are still working on my end here. Let's check the audio. I think it's working. Wow, look at that. All right. So we're going to plan out some more um, rounds of showers and thunderstorms over the next, I don't know, we'll say 36 hours or so through, through Friday morning. Uh, we'll look at that with Futurecast here in just a moment. Let me turn down my own audio here. Uh, we've got Lucia Reese watching, Karen Cantrell, thanks for tuning in as well. Let me see if I can uh, bring up the other stream here on Facebook. Um... Hope you guys are having a good evening. It's a beautiful sunset across the area. I saw lots of pictures on Facebook of the uh, nice glow that we had across the area. Got some sunshine today. Made it up to 90. Heat index 97. Really cranked up the heat in a hurry once the uh, morning showers, and thunderstorms, and clouds moved out of the way. Carol Osterritter, rain for the garden. Sean McDonald, hey, what's up? Uh, Sandy Kurtzinger asking about tornadoes. Uh, this time of the year, the atmosphere is kind of lazy as far as winds, so the, the tornado threat is pretty rare. Um, so we're looking at uh, just some heavy rain, some uh, maybe localized ponding of water, localized flooding, and, and things like that when you get caught under some of these tropical downpours. So the severe weather threat, like the last several days, is on the rather low side. Amy O'Hearn, thanks for tuning in. Roy Allen, uh, says we need the rain. Some areas do, some areas don't. Um, it looks like around the Bluegrass Parkway in a county north and south, so like Hardin County, Grayson County, you've had a little bit but not enough where areas along and north of Interstate 64 have seen quite a bit of rain over the last week. So it just all depends on location, uh, how much rain you need at this point. Patricia Blakeman uh, from uh, Greensburg, thanks for tuning in. Sherry Carlson. Um, says it de definitely got hot quick. Yeah, I mean, late July sunshine will do it, and the air is tropical, so it, it did heat up in a hurry. Ricky Bullard, um, no one beats our 11 inches in St. Louis. Yeah, I saw that. That was crazy. Uh, it's been about half of my growing up years in St. Louis, and um, pretty crazy to see that. I was in St. Louis during 1993, um, during the summer of 93, when uh, we had the record flooding along the Mississippi River there. And then in Louisville, it was 97. Uh, but this was like a real short-term, horrible flash flood, anywhere from like 8 to 11 inches uh, yesterday morning. Crazy, crazy stuff there. Thankfully, it died out before moving our direction. We've had just a nice soaking of rain, and we've been able to, uh, to handle all of it. Let me zoom in a little bit here on uh, Max HD radar. The majority of our area is now dry. Uh, with the showers and thunderstorms almost completely out of the viewing area. Graphics full screen here. You can see that thunderstorm. A um, few rumbles of thunder along and south of the Cumberland Parkway at this time. So it is now 10.08. Uh, Lisa Curry, will we see sun tomorrow? I need a pool day. Well, it's going to be off and on. We'll, we'll have a clearing maybe for a few hours and then a thunderstorm chance. So yes, we will get uh, another warm day tomorrow, Lisa, for you. Tina Lilly, thanks for watching. Sean McDonald um, had the heat after work. I need to mow the yard, but it's too wet, so it's probably going to be a Saturday-Sunday thing for me to finally get that done. Um, nice to see the yards really, really green this time of the year. When they, My yard especially, I don't water very much, if at all. Um, it will turn brown and, and tan in a hurry if we don't get rain. So. And we forget to water our plants the majority of our time. Um, so thankfully, the hydrangeas and some of the uh, ferns uh, on the back deck have been getting some uh, much-needed rainfall. Um, Maureen needs the rain in Mount Washington. We'll try to get you some more. Two and a half inches in Litchfield this week. Nice. 
Uh, Rena Love, thanks for watching. Uh, beautiful sunset in Meade County, uh, all across the area. Had a great sunset. Lisa asking about fall already. Who knows that far out? We try to do our best within that seven-day forecast, to be honest with you. Amber Haggis, thanks for watching. Karen Cantrell, uh, Donna Richards, Julie Wilson, Nancy Mann from Adair County, Kimberly Ferris, Andy Griffith, um, Andy Griffith, uh, Jackie Strange, how goes it? Betty Logston, good to see you. Morgan Lewis, a lot of familiar names, Harry. Sherry Rich, I don't remember the last time we did a Facebook Live, to be honest with you. I, I, probably winter time when we had a snowstorm or something on the way. Tammy Stanley from uh, NAB, Indiana. Julie Wilson took an awesome picture of the sunset. Share it with us, your photos at whas11.com. Donna Richards from Lively Shively. Judy Davis, Autumn Miller, and Adair County. Uh, Melissa Clegg, Jose Hernandez, good evening to you. Trying to get to everybody's shout outs here before we get, dig into some of the forecasts and look at future casts and plan out the wet times and the dry times over the next 36 hours. We've got uh, Susan Asher from Madison, Indiana, Mary Netherly, Deanne Smith from Bardstown, Melissa Clegg from Scottsburg, Indiana, Patsy Amos, good evening to you. Mike Missy, thanks for tuning in. Lori Cruz, Norma Scott has had only a fourth of an inch all week in Columbia. Uh, thank you, Jerry, Nancy Mann, here in the Rumbles in Adair County. Jody Clark, Alan Henderson got the rain this morning. Uh, Susan, when is it going to get hot again? Well, it's going to be very warm uh, during the dry times tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but next week, I think the 90s are going to return and stay around for a while. Gwen McClintock from French Lick, Indiana. Christopher Haycraft, thanks for watching here tonight. Uh, Rita Harmon, Chris Hall, how's it going? Kim Washer, all right. Let's take a look at what is happening. And We'll switch it over into future cast. And let me go full first. screen. We'll get me out of the way there. So if we just miss that, it was doing a pretty good job um, picking up on some of the activity to the south. Now these weather models are not perfect, um, but they are trying to predict another little wave of some wet weather cruising through during the overnight hours, mainly in Kentucky, and that's where we need it actually. So hopefully we'll get the rain where we need it and then it begins to move out and hopefully we get a dry commute. Quite a few accidents over the last couple of days thanks to some of the, the wet roads. You just add water, we get problems on those morning drives. Will we stay dry through lunchtime? It appears so and maybe through a decent chunk of the afternoon. And that right there, I forget who was asking about wanting a pool day. There you go. If you can Work that out uh, late morning to mid-afternoon. That's probably going to be your best uh, chance to hit the lake or the pool before uh, that next round of some showers and thunderstorms moves in. Um, it's been pretty consistent showing a late afternoon, evening time, downpour chance for tomorrow. So this is your Thursday at around 4 to 5 o'clock. That's around 6 to 7. And then that's around sunset tomorrow. And then that wave begins to move out. That might be our last really heavy wave of wet weather before we see just some spotty showers left over Friday morning uh, that you see there. So what's going to happen on Friday is uh, going to change things up. We've had a stationary front across the area. Stationary, obviously, means it's not moving. So it's just been sitting over the top of us Monday, Tuesday, today, tomorrow. Still over us tomorrow, uh, Friday morning, and then it gets a push to the south, thanks to high pressure to the north. It's going to shove it to the south. We'll have a north breeze. It should drop our humidity levels Friday night into Saturday. If you want to do some camping, Friday night would be great. Saturday night should be good too. Saturday should be all dry. Sunday, mostly dry, unless you're south of Louisville. Then we've got a little bit of a rain chance as that front tries to lift back to the north on Sunday. Monday, the front's lifting over us. We have another chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Then the front's way to the north, and then we're under that hot and muggy air mass once again for much of next week. So next week is looking uh, like it's going to be on the steamy side. Let's go back to full screen. This is a Friday at 8.30. And then notice here we are starting to clear things out from north to south through the afternoon. And temperatures are in the low to mid-80s, and we should be dropping off that humidity uh, Friday night. 
we'll go into Saturday morning. If you've got some weekend plans, looking ahead here to some uh, maybe some lower mid 60s and a north and northeast breeze giving us some comfortably warm conditions Saturday afternoon with upper 70s and lower 80s. So Saturday, the pick day, pick outdoor day over the next seven days, and uh, perhaps I'll be out just mowing the yard or something like that. We'll see what happens. All right, here's a live look out there now. A little plane taking off on the left side of the screen. Uh, 83 at Louisville International. 87 is what it feels like. Dew point 70. Dew point, that measure water content in the air. When it goes... 70 and above it's it's going to feel tropical out there and then and that's what we've got with the humidity at 65 percent uh, temperatures across the region it was uh felt a little better north of the river today uh, we have basically mid 70s in most spots a little warmer in munferville at 79 78 in campbellsville i see a northwest light breeze all the way down to basically the parkways uh, the bluegrass in western kentucky parkways and then a south breeze meeting the north breeze at the parkway so the stationary front is right about exactly at the western kentucky and bluegrass parkways right now okay so on the almanac today 90 one above normal 104 the record so back in 1930 75 was the low um, this is a look at the high temperatures across the area today. We were just on the edge of the heat wave. It's a lot worse to the southwest. 96 in Memphis, 100 in Ar uh, Arkansas there in Little Rock, and then 100s. And that's not even the heat index. That's just the actual temperature there in Oklahoma and Texas. And then north of the stationary front, you've got 83 in St. Louis and 85 in Indianapolis, 83 in Chicago. Uh, rainfall totals today, uh, it was higher in parts of southern Indiana this morning. There were some pockets of some heavier rain over Kentucky. Only three hundredths of an inch of rainfall in Louisville. But thanks to the rain this week, we have now a, almost a third of an inch of a surplus of rain for the month of July. And so we have really turned things around as far as the drought conditions as expected. And with more rain on the way tomorrow and into early Friday, we should be in great shape uh, rainfall-wise across the region. Uh, tonight, 74, that low spotty showers and thunderstorms overnight, uh, otherwise warm and humid. And tomorrow, warm and humid, muggy when it's not raining, and we'll have some scattered storms from time to time, especially it looks like late afternoon into the evening time. Okay, we dry it out into the weekend, 83 on Saturday, 67 on Saturday night, and then 82 on Sunday. So really nice conditions for the weekend. If we get that rain chance on Sunday, again, it looks like the best chance of that is going to be south of Louisville. And then we've got August 1st on Monday with some scattered storms possible in a high of 84. And then we start to crank up the heat, 91 Tuesday to 93 on Wednesday. And it could continue to go up from there as we head into the middle and end of next week. So there it is. That's all I've got. So plan on some more scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Keep that rain gear handy. And then we should be in great shape this weekend. Thanks for tuning in. I know it's been a while. We'll try to do this a little more frequently, especially when we have some impactful weather. It is uh, July 27th, 2022. I'm Chief Meteorologist Ben Pine in the WHS 11 News First Alert Storm Team. And it is now 1018, and I'll see you in about 42 minutes on WHS 11 News, the night team. Sleep well, have a peaceful night, and we'll see you later.